Howdy y'all, I'm Around the Wheel, you're watching 46 Okanin Minogatari, the Shinkaran, and last time we killed a plant with our fart waves, and now we're here. I feel like we're maybe toward the end of the chapter, because we are completely maxed out as far as wisdom, vitality, endurance, and attack. So I think we may be approaching uh, the end times, a massive desert. The desert is definitely spreading, putting intense pressure on the plants in the area. Alright, well... Oh wow, that is quite a massive desert, but I'm going to go ahead and fight this Mesosaurus that can't seem to move. I am doing uh, insane damage to him, insane for the point in the game that we've reached currently. An earthquake, it's huge! Received a bunch of useless Evo genes that you can't do anything with. Thank god we have this little pond right here though. Alright, so what can we do? Oh, we have uh, we have reached some kind of thing right here. Do we want to check it out yet? There's still maybe other things in the neighborhood worth looking into. Nah, this just looks like a bunch of enemies and stuff. Yeah, this is this is stuff I'm accustomed to fighting. So I think maybe the rumbling volcano is the thing to check out. Ooh, hey, he actually got me a little bit there. Okay, a Marinops won't do anything to me. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, why don't I... I'm gonna go ahead and... Hey, a great blaze enveloped me and gave me more Evo genes I can't use. This must be the rock that they were talking about. The rock that requires the moving. I'm gonna do it with my very strong fake dinosaur hands. Oh, here we go. Here are the Protophasma. I'm a Mega Neuro Dragonfly, you get me? I dig it. That rock sure is suspicious, yeah. It's balanced real good, like, and it never falls, yeah. This here's one of those, you know, mysteries of nature, yeah, right? Ah, uh, yes, the balanced rock. Well, what happens if I try to push the rock? So far, a fat lot of nothing. And I cannot seem to worm my way past the rock. The Mega Nura is quite weak, though, so I could eat him if I wanted, but it does not seem as though the game will allow me to do that or to move in any meaningful direction that is that seems concerned with getting out of here. So there's a big rock balanced precariously on the edge of a cliff that I cannot, uh, that I cannot access. So I guess we're gonna have to make our way around the island and figure out what's up with that. Always trying to figure out other things for other people. This is a, this is a pretty wild area. Looks like I can make my way across the water bridge here. All right. Alright, moving right along, there doesn't seem to be any real compelling reason to fight things anymore. But there is always a compelling reason to go in a cave. I would like very much to do that. I would like very much to not fight K-Copses and get unlucky about it. That's... there we go. Let's see what they have to say at this cave about the balanced rock. So can I now go to caves within caves? No, but I can leave the screen because you moved eight... Z you move eight zillion frames every time you try to move even a tiny inch. Oh my god, this game is going to be the death of me. Is there any way? Is there any way whatsoever? No, I can't change anything. I don't think I can change a keyboard sensitivity. I just want to see if I can go in the little cave. Uh, why don't I just talk to this guy then, actually? wonder what this cave is made of. It's made of slippery garbage. Well, that is certain... Oh. Well, it looks like we got ourselves a bona fide genuine maze that I just walked right back into the door that I came through. And we get to hear these wonderful Pac-Man sounds every time I go through a door. That's not going to get annoying. That's going to be blaring right in my ears. So where... I'm taking complete guesses as to how to get through here. I don't know... I don't know anything really. I'm just a guy, you know? Oh, hey, that looks like... Looks vaguely like it could be a flower of evolution. Now, there's something glowing there. I would like to get to the heart of that matter. What's that... What's that nice little shiny trinket off in the distance? Okay, I'm back here... Why don't I try to line up in front of cave number one, which is the only one I haven't gone through yet. The game will never allow this. 
I'm stuck in this terrible universe forever. Alright, now I'm here. I feel like I was already on this particular island, but maybe I wasn't. Ah, I've gotten through. Man, I love the forest. Speaking of that, there's talk of some tribe protecting the forest in the eastern mountains. But you have to get there by heading southeast a long ways from here, and then go through a secret passage. Always secret passages with these people. They can't get enough of that stuff. Hey, it is the Flower of Evolution. I was right. Very good. Well, what happens if I talk to it? It's such a beautiful plant, indeed. And the Flower of Evolution seems to be accompanied by the uh, glowing circle sitting on a log. A beautiful plant is sparkling on top of the log. You finally found it. This is the Flower of Evolution. And that flower has a voice that I remember from long ago. It is I, Gaia. This is the Flower of Evolution, an elusive plant that does not exist in this era. Which implies that it exists in some other era, but maybe these weirdos aren't ready for it yet. It lets the rest of the forest plants dream that one day they can evolve into something so beautiful. However, the forests are disappearing, slowly but surely, because of the desertification caused by the strangely shaped mountain to the northwest. Save the forests? Yes, I am all about conservation. Please save the gentle plants that have enriched the lands over an unbelievable amount of time. Well, can I actually talk to the Flower of Evolution? Yes, it is indeed beautiful. I guess this is all it does. Do something about the strangely shaped mountain to the northwest. You got it, Gaia. You've been waiting for me all this time. I will do it. I will get out of here and I will go save the forests by traveling through the desert. All right, we're back out on the world map. I assume I have to start trekking through the desert now. But that's gonna... Was that a... Oh, a thunderstorm in the desert. Those happen. Well, yeah, they actually do sometimes. Just thought it was a little weird, that's all. So, am I just... Hopefully I don't wander around the desert too much. An earthquake! It's huge! And it's also sapping my life very quickly. Boy, going through the desert is no joke. Okay, and it looks like a big giant dead end. So maybe I ought to get away from this guy first of all. Run far away and get healed up. Maybe what I want to do is tip the rock over now. Do I want to do that? First, oh, that's much better. Okay, yeah, I think I want to get around to the rock. Now nope, still nothing doing here. There's something else, somewhere else I need to go. Yes, I know it's a mystery of nature. You say that every time I accidentally run into you. They did say something about going to the southeast, a long passage to the southeast. Uh, maybe the key is somewhere over in there. There's a lot of dinosaurs swarming around out here, uh, but there doesn't seem to be much point in taking them on at this point. Here we go. Nice little water bridge right there. Little bits of desert. Are they harmful? They don't seem to be. A volcano erupted out here on the peninsula. Which isn't even giving me Evo genes anymore. Oh, I see a glowing rock there. Uh-oh. Oh, gosh. Okay, so... Okay, we're in Aripose Town now. It blended in with its surroundings and is holding still and healing a lot. Stop doing that. Okay, yeah, Aripose... That's not a dinosaur you want to mess around with. So, I'm going to make my way toward the volcano here. This little Marinops is going to lead me right to it. <laughs> I mean, the Romostega is going to lead me to it. Okay, it's taking a defensive stance and recovering. I love it when they heal. Okay. This is going really great, actually. Using a lot of special attacks. I love special attacks. They're my favorite. Okay, that was not a Marinops. That was uh that was something much more much worse than a Marinops. Get me out of here, please. Oh! Oh, I just touched a magic mountain, apparently. Oh, good for me. Okay, here we go. Here is uh here is a very important looking mountain. What goes on here? Uh, this is where people like me hang out, and no healing happens. You can see the whole world from this mountain. This is where the Anubisaurus, Guardians of the Forest, roam for- oh, I've been a 
Forest Guardian this whole time? You didn't even tell me? How rude. But at least I, I feel at least moderately safe here, so... I don't know. Let's see. Can I go over... No, this is some kind of big rock slide. Nice view. I think you'll agree. Just gazing at the forest. Really calming. That's what I do when... When I'm frustrated with monsters... Oh, I'm healing again. Oh, maybe I just wasn't sitting still for long enough. <laughs> that would be on brand. I am a little bit of a... I am a little bit of a fidgety weirdo. Uh, I'm healing quite slowly, though. Little UFO sounds are definitely unsettling, but I think I came what I'm... Or I think I found what I came for. Uh, no, actually, that's just a guy's heart. Like I wouldn't have 8 million Gaia jeans by now. Come on. This looks like the best place to look at things from. I am an Anubisaurus, a guardian of the forest. Pleased to meet you, Anubisaurus. I, my name is Anubisaurus. Watched over the forest for many long years. And yet this, the forest that protected our lands are being devoured by the desert. Maybe the mountain said to be left behind long ago when creatures of the red planet came from the heavens? Is the co so aliens came from Mars and just left a mountain here? Oh yeah, it says right here, property of Mars. How about that? Whatever the case, if something isn't done soon, the force of our planet are doomed. Yes, I will, as a self-appointed guardian of the forests. Take a good look to the southwest. Hey, it's that strangely immobile gigantic stone that looks like it's about to fall that I've been trying to push over this whole time. I've always thought that on days when the moon is blowing like today that it would fall right over. So dumping that giant rock on the desert is going to save the forest. I will. I will come back and I will tell you. So I guess now I can go uh, activate. I can, I can go push the stone off the thing. Will the cockroaches be mad at me if I do that? Uh, it doesn't really matter. Hopefully they are very weak enemies and I want nothing to do with them. Hey, another guy's heart. Doesn't even bother with fanfare music. Say, say, boy, have you heard of this little legend? Something being destroyed by a red planet. I don't know. Even the inner key is moving too fast at this point. The red and gold fought a mighty battle. If you go to the western desert, it said you'll find ruins relating to that legend. I kind of want to hear that again. Wow, that's a... Uh, no, I think it's just the game moving that quickly and being weird. Okay, he's he's kind of weird and finicky. Okay, I'm going to go to the big rock and try to tip it over. I think I might be able to do that now. Alright, back at the rock to see if we can tip it over this time. I think this time it might actually take... <laughs> well, he's he's talking a little. He's singing a bit of a different tune now. Now I'm just full. Well, guess what? I'm not. Ha ha ha! Yes, I am the strongest dinosaur that ever lived. An unbelievable miracle has occurred. I have tipped over the rock, and it fell into the magma river below. Then the valley was flooded by the freely flowing waters from the cove. There was an explosion of steam, which caused new volcanic activity, and this seismic event came to be known as. The summer sail. A huge waterfall was created, changing the face of the surrounding terrain. Decades passed, so I just sat there, basking in my glory, my glorious victory for like 50 years. What happens now? Oh, yes, everything is decidedly different. Well, where do we go from here? We fight Mesosauruses, that's what we do. Alright, heading out west into the desert from where the flower of evolution is and it looks like there might be some slightly different things running around out here so i think this might be i think we might be on the right track where are we what are we up to here that looks like an anubisaurus like me i could probably kick its butt yeah it looks significantly weaker than me it still does damage but okay and it's taking a defensive stance which is always great but I dealt with it in due course. And an Anubisaurus, I can handle. A volcano erupting in my face, I can handle. Uh, a little healing pool showing up, I think I can handle. Alright. Alright, this is a nice little spot. 
I think I'm in new territory, so I think if I can ever get a handle on this tiny... There we go. Okay, I am on the dot of freedom. And now that I've healed up, I'm going to go ahead and save. And I'm going to stop here. I feel like we might be in for some dangerous times up ahead. So I'm going to stop. And we will continue moving through chapter 2, the Pangea chapter, next time.